Now entering the Bitcoin Podcast Network. Welcome back. I realize I start every show the same way, but it's kind of like a branding thing, I think. I read it in an article that that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do the same thing every time. And then people get all soaked into your what you're, what you're putting down. They start picking up what you're putting down. But then I realized you might not know which show it's about to start. Because you're not that big of a fan, but you're kind of a fan. So, anyways, this show is called Just the Headers. Hit them with it, Jesse. What? This show is about crypto headlines. We bring you the best and the coolest news that's hitting the crypto sphere. Yes, news, news, news. Um, You heard it. You heard it from Jesse the man himself. We give you headlines. So, I think at this point, Jesse and I are podcasting demigods because we podcast no matter what. That should be our, like, on a t-shirt, podcast no matter what. So, if you guys haven't been listening that long, Jesse recorded a show two weeks ago from his car when it was freezing outside. That's crazy, Jesse. It wasn't freezing. I think it was like 40, 40 something. Yeah, it was cold. I mean, you just totally took away from the mystique of it all, but you know, he <laughs> was outside in his car calling from his car to record the show. And I just Jimmy rigged a setup with like my Bluetooth earbuds to be able to record this show. We podcast no matter what. So. We're dedicated. Yeah. I got one person on Twitter that enjoyed our conversation about mangoes, by the way. (laughs) What did they say? He said, I would listen to you guys talk about mangoes all day. And I was (laughs) like, okay. Okay. Who who was it? It was uh, his name. Let me me pop Twitter on real quick. I'll give him a shout out real quick. Yeah. Thank you, by the way. We're happy that we can provide some very strange entertainment for you. His name is Rick Rigieri. Rigieri. He's a he's a Twitter guy. He said, "Please just do an hour of you two talking about every fruit and just Jesse." <laughs> I mean, jeez. So we're gonna do that. If you guys want a crypto news, sorry, Jesse. Wait, let's start what? talking about pineapple. <laughs> what are your favorite pineapple coring techniques? No, <laughs> oh my god. No news today. Screw the news. Now we've All got right. some pretty good headlines for this yeah. week. This so. week is Jesse's. Last week was my collection. This week is Jesse's collection. This is the Jesse collection. That sounds so. I official. like this. The Jesse collection. Did you get this news from the Jesse collection? I did, actually. I did. Okay. So, let's hop right into it. So, um, here we go. Here's some news. Uh, this is a regulation kind of news. Surprise, surprise. Wyoming Senate passes bill recognizing cryptocurrency as money. So, is it money? Is it legal tender? What is it? Well, let's read a little bit. The Senate of the U.S. state of Wyoming has passed a bill which defines cryptocurrency as property and establishes rules including for allowing banks to provide crypto custodial... Oh, it's happening, Jesse. There you go. It's happening. That's it. We don't need any more news, baby. Banks are going to start holding crypto. It's over. We won. Sell your house. Buy crypto. No, just kidding. (laughs) 
we hit bottom, baby. And then you heard the SEC commissioner today on the zero confirmation news was like, yeah, Bitcoin ETF is an inevitability. You know what inevitable means, Jesse? Give us the definition. <laughs> it means it's going to happen. <laughs> exactly. That means it's going to happen no matter what. It is inevitable. Like the burning death of the sun. Wow. That took a dark turn. Took a really dark turn. You know, how big are we when you really think about the burning death of the sun? We gotta get off this planet. Okay. Crypto bill passes Wyoming Senate. A bill defining digital assets as property passed the Wyoming Senate 28 to 1. That means there was one jabroni who doesn't get cake. With one excuse Thursday, the bill classifies digital assets, including cryptocurrency, as legal property. That means that it's property that you can legally own. The Wyoming Tribune Eagle reported that. In addition, it was subject <laughs> cryptocurrency to some of the same rules as money by expanding existing laws. We've done it, fellas and ladies. Well, if there were ten of us, there would be eight dudes and two ladies. But we've done it. Ladies and gents, Bitcoin and is here to stay. Next article. In Wyoming. In Wyoming. In Wy yeah, in Wyoming. <laughs> Wyoming. Why so for those of you who are fortunate enough to be listening from outside the states, Wyoming is a small municipality in the continental United States of America. Wait, what? What? I was just giving them tips on what Wyoming is. Are you going to call it a municipality? I call everything a municipality. I may, I'm probably using it incorrectly. Uh -huh. But I feel like it just makes sense. Because when I go overseas and they say like, oh, this is the state. And I'm like, oh, you guys can't have states. Only the U.S. has states. What's this called? What is this, what is this place? So, anyways, I'm sorry. Go America. Speaking of America, Canadian exchange insolvent after CEO allegedly dies with keys. This is a huge story. I've been hearing about this. The long story short is don't keep your tokens. Say it with me now, Jesse. Don't, don't keep your tokens. Okay, on. all right. The exchanges. On the exchanges, that's right. Well, this guy is the CEO of the exchange. See, he held he held the private keys. He's so a don't CEO. die. You know what don't I'm die. <laughs> For all you people out there holding your own key, don't die. Yeah, and have some <laughs> sort of secession planning. Now's the time where you want to set up secession planning for your crypto. Because if banks in Wyoming are, are going to be able to hold it, the next thing you know, a bank in Rhode Island, then we've got a bank in Georgia, then we've got a bank in Missouri, then we've got a bank in Arizona. You're going to want to give your crypto to your kids. Or maybe not. Could be a dick. Quadriga CX seeks core protection from creditors. So, if you guys don't know the story, this is a little old. I don't know how it made it onto this week's notes. Quadriga CX is an exchange. Owner died. Kept the keys. <laughs> this dude went to the afterlife with his crypto private keys and took y'all's money. But it is very fishy. Some people are claiming it's fraud, like he's just acting like he's dead, like Tupac, like him and Tupac are hanging out on an island somewhere. And he's like, yo, Pac. And he's like, what's up? And then he's like, yo, Pac, I got all this Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. It's crazy. And he's like, damn. So, speaking of crazy news, we got one more article from last weekend. Oh, and for those of you newbies out in the audience, you fucking noobs, we go over last weekend's news and this week, but we do not do Friday because that is zero confirmation news. We can neither confirm nor deny that it took place. Last article from last weekend, this is a report by Adrian Smudzinski, 18,404 views. Uh, and the report, an analyst finds NVIDIA earned $1.35 million more in total crypto revenue. Billion. Stated. <gasps> oh, no. They're trying, to, they're trying to cook the books. 
motherfuckers cooking books. Taiwan-based computer hardware producer NVIDIA. If you don't know who NVIDIA is, you either live under a rock or are actively trying to. Uh, reportedly earned nearly $1.35 billion. That is with a B. Right? It'd be seven zeros. So one, three, five, seven zeros. Damn, that's a lot. No, is it seven? Yeah. Yeah, one, three, five, seven, zero. That's a lot. Analyst Miss Stevens Financial News website market reported. Dang, that's a lot. Steve's reportedly said in a note released on January 30th. That according to his calculations, NVIDIA generated about $1.95 billion in total revenue related to cryptocurrency and blockchain. Noting that the official company's statement said that it generated around $602 million over the same time. Why would they hide almost six? Why would they hide half of it? Maybe it's tax stuff? You think it's tax stuff? What do you mean half of it? They reported six hundred. million. They reported $602 million. but they made one point three five. That's... You know, they, no, no, they, they made they made 1.95 in total revenue. They only claimed 602. They made twice as much as they as they recorded. Yeah, that's what I said. I said, why would they only report half of it? That's crazy. It's not half though. It's a third. Oh Jesus! What the number? I mean, let oh boy. <laughs> It's not a third. Oh yeah, it, it is. It why is. A third. Only, a th- why would they only report a third of the revenue? Where are the other two thirds? It's fucking Pepe Silvia again. Pepe Silvia. So I don't really know what this. Is. Let's read a little bit of the, the conclusive paragraph. At the end of December last year, a class action lawsuit was launched against Nvidia over the losses reported by the company. When lower crypto prices diminish demand for GPUs by miners. See, man, I hate it. Like in the not in the regular like financial world, when you lose money, you try to sue. Nvidia took a risk. They wanted to mine. You could have took your money out, but you didn't. And their stock went down. So you're gonna sue them because they tried something different. Or they weren't, they didn't, they were trying to mine, they were trying to sell miners, right? Yeah, they were selling miners. Yeah. Well, they were, uh, they were selling their, their standard GPUs. Hmm. I don't know, man. Sometimes things just seem unfair. And that is, if you lose money in the stock market and you're rich, you can sue. But if you're not, you just lose money. So. Uh, your turn, man. We're we're done with last weekend's news. Take it away. Okay, so for Monday's news, first article is about Mo- Mount Cox restitution process frozen due to one man's sixteen billion dollar claim. Jamie Redman, Bitcoin dot com, fifty three thirteen eyeballs nine shares. Uh, January thirty first. It just. Mount Cox victims were enraged to hear that the co-founder of that the founder of CoinLab, Peter Vessinet, Vessines, is still causing problems for the former exchange uh, exchange's rehabilitation process. According to information published by public attorney Daniel Kelman, CoinLab filed a claim for 16 billion US dollars, which is over and above every claimant's filing. What a jerk. Go ahead, keep going. I'm sorry. I just was. How does how do, how do you get 16 billion? I don't even think that much Bitcoin was in there. Was there? Yeah, Malgox had a lot of Bitcoin. But like, how much? Well, they stole. I thought they stole millions of Bitcoin. Right. How like how much exactly? Yeah, let me. Here, I'm How gonna... much? Yeah, you look at that, and then I'll I'll go on to the next article. But yeah, he's just I don't know what the purpose of um the claim is because that seems kind of outrageous. And I guess maybe they just want to halt the process, the restitution process. Uh, in the next article for Monday, the Daily Twitter CEO talks about know. Bitcoin. Bitstamp yeah. releases new mobile app. Of course, yeah. They sold eight hundred and fifty thousand Bitcoin. 
Okay, so how much is that? I don't know. At three zeros, like eight point five billion. If it's a thousand dollars, it's eight point five billion. It's, so multiply it's by uh, two point five billion, right? Hmm. Two point five billion. Two point five five billion U.S. dollars, or is it eight hundred fifty thousand? At like about oh, I guess it's not Bitcoin's not three thousand here. Is Bitcoin like thirty four hundred or something like that? Just run okay, down so like 3, so like so like three billion, three billion. Yeah. So that's like, how is he claiming sixteen? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. Really Wait, eight hundred fifty grand times what three thousand is what? Point five five billion dollars. Mm -hmm. He's claiming sixteen billion. Huh? Yeah, I don't know how he's getting sixteen. That's, that's the point. Hmm. Maybe he wants money for damages. So, you know what I mean? Ah. Uh, well, can you can you sue for like that much over however much money was actually stored in the I exchange? I think so. Right, you can sue people for more than they're worth. Okay. Right? You can sue people for more than they're worth, because then they have to pay you forever. So. Okay. I'm actually gonna skip this article because there's another yeah. article that talks more about Jack Dorsey's endorsement. Of, Isn't it crazy of that after close to six years, Mount Gox is still even talked about? Because people are still trying to, you know, get paid. Mm. Right. Trying to make that paper. So for the last article on Monday, Amazon will have to create its own crypto in the future, <gasps> Binance CEO says. <gasps> William Suberg, Cointelegraph, 8,000 views, 314 total shares. One of the cryptocurrency industry's best known figures confirmed he still believes online retail giant Amazon cannot avoid issuing its own altcoin in a tweet February 2nd. Discussing the internet business sector more broadly, Chang Peng, Chang Peng Zhao, CEO of top crypto exchange Binance, said it was not so much a question of if as of when Amazon will issue its own coin. What do you think you're going to call it? The Emma coin? I don't know. Emma, yeah, am, Amazon coin? <laughs> a coin? If they called it Acoin, they'd have to hire Acon. You know what I mean? He would like seeing something goofy like mm, cryptocurrency, and you're like, "Is that Acon?" And he's like, "No, it's Acon, baby." And you're like, "What the? Where's Acon? I don't, I don't, sorry, I don't know where that came from. I'm, I, I apologize, Jesse. Move on. I'm sorry." No, it's, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's not all good. You should have shut that shit down in its tracks. And you just let it happen. <laughs> I just let you do whatever, man. All right. Moving Tuesday. on. To, moving on to Tuesday's news. More Mount Gox stuff. By the way, for you new nude crypto, new crypto heads out there. That's right. I love. The, oh, I I fell into like a radio. For you new crypto heads out there, Mt. Gox stands for Magic the Gathering Online Exchange. <laughs> and these are facts. That's what it meant. It was a Magic the Gathering card exchange website, and they thought, you know what else we could exchange? Bitcoin, because there's a natural progression for that ass. So then they did, and then they got rich, and then they got poor, and they ruined the market, maybe forever. Leaked info purportedly shows $318 million in cryptocurrency sell-offs on Bitpoint. So this article was written by William Suberg, and it has 8,444 total views. The trustee for the rehabilitation proceedings of defunct crypto exchange Mt. Gox reportedly sold large amounts of Bitcoin 
and the Bitcoin Cash. The Bitcoin Cash on trading platform Bitpoint in Japan. An unidentified party reportedly sourced information from the legal proceedings involving Mount G- Mountain Gox at the Tokyo District <laughs> Court and showed it to Mountain Gox creditor campaign group GoxDocs.com. Mm. Damn. Can you imagine how much volume they were pulling in when they were like the only source of exchange? Everybody had to go to Mount Gox. Mm. Sorry about that plane, guys. I'm traveling. Nothing I can do about that. Oh, and while we're transitioning to the next article, go ahead and don't subscribe and don't give us five stars on your favorite podcasting app because we don't think you should do that. But if we did, you could... But only because you wanted to do that, not because we didn't tell you. Makes perfect sense. So, um, here's another article. This article is written by Kai Sedgwick. It's our boy Kai. Six popular dark net marketplaces that accept cryptocurrency. What? Let me tell you something, Jesse. I will not read this. You guys dig into the, you guys dig into that one on your own. I'll I'm not gonna encourage you to go into the dark net. You, you want those problems? You go have those problems. All right. You want those problems? Yeah. Shit. I will never go to the. Nothing I own will ever go anywhere near the black mark, black black internet, dark net, ever. The black internet. Did I say the black internet? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm tired, oh man. God. I'm so tired. <laughs> First it. Akon, now the black internet, and you just keep letting me go. Jeez. <laughs> Look, you can buy counterfeit, undetectable counterfeit notes. That's so yeah, cool. Yeah, because that's what you. Yeah, that's what you want right there. The Look, government you can get shit. King King Debat cocaine. No. No, <laughs> no, no is the answer to that. Don't <laughs> go on the dark net, people. It is not wise. Here, I'll put it to you like this: Have you, has there, Jesse? Have you ever seen that poster of the iceberg? And then it's like, and then you see the top, and it's like two thirds of the iceberg is below the water. That's don't, the dark web. Don't judge a iceberg by its smallness or something like that i don't know it's, uh, yeah that to me is the internet like most of the stuff people use is just like a very tippy tippy top set of protocols you know but the dark net is like just this massive beast where anything goes it's not that big actually oh, okay how would you know that as thanks why? Oh. Jesse goes to the dark net. Stay away from him. Okay. <laughs> U.S. indicts two more men on fraud and extortion. And since you say reasons, I go to the dark net for reasons. Uh, Sim swapping investigation. So some people are going to jail, right? No, I'm kidding. Uh, they're going to investigate them. Sim swapping is a nasty practice where somebody calls your carrier and gets your service. Switched over to their phone with a fake sim. Mm. Okay. I don't want to read this article. <laughs> what? Just, just give them the amount. It's twenty-four million. Twenty-four million. Next, your turn, Jesse. All right. What's today? <laughs> Bitcoin could be, you're, you're so bad at delivering the news. Uh, this week, I don't want to read this article. <laughs> Bitcoin community celebrates as Twitter CEO joins Lightning Network Relay. 5,000 views, 227 total shares. William Seuberg, Cointelegraph, Twitter co-founder and CEO Jack Dorsey, has joined a community poll project demonstrating the functionality of Bitcoin's second layer scaling protocol, the Lightning Network. 
Dorsey, who's repeatedly pledged his his faith in Bitcoin, becoming the de facto currency of the internet, is now participating in an experiment dubbed Lightning Network Trust Chain, a chain of transactions on the Lightning Network that began January that began circulating January nineteenth. Based on the concept of the Olympic flame, the quote lightning torch is a series of transactions between users of the Lightning Network with participants communicating on Twitter with hashtag hashtag lightning trust chain. Mm-hmm. Each this will user get you a real use, nice Bitcoin boner, if you know what I'm talking about. Each user receives the transaction, adds a nominal amount of 10,000 Satoshis, 34 cents, and passes it to someone else they trust. The torch currently contains just under 3 million Satoshis, about $98.60. Uh, $98.60? Yeah. So, wait. That's it's like 300 people. A high amount of transactions, right? 3 million Satoshis. What's 10,000 of 3 million? It's 300, it's 300 people. Yeah. 300 it's people. It's not that many. It's not that many, but it's a free transaction. 34 cents for essentially free. You send in 34 cents for a sub Satoshi fee, man. That's free. And all intents and purposes, that's damn near free. Brave new world, man. We're sending the we're we're seeing a new beginning of Bitcoin, baby. So exciting. It's Hopefully, it so, turns into something. There's a quote down here. This will become one of the most historic tweets by Jack Dorsey, um, uh, known on Twitter. Uh, adding quote and so we begin the era of hashtag bitcoin twitter Mm. he tweeted that i guess so wow no armin von no 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 no. armin van bitcoin yeah never mind we actually interviewed armin von bitcoin it wasn't like as cheesy as his name sounds he's he's a good guy knows his stuff Mm -hmm. In a separate tweet, February 5th, Dorsey revealed that the only crypto he holds is Bitcoin. He doesn't know his stuff that good, but he's a cool guy. And it might not be him. All right, well, next article, CEO of Canadian next? crypto exchange, Quadriga CX, filed will 12 days this? before death. I'm on Wednesday. Yeah, but we already talked about Quadriga CX. Yeah, but oh, this, this one new, tells this is you like that. More new. Okay. Yeah, this is more information on the guy, and he basically he filed he filed his will twelve days before he killed himself supposedly, okay. or died. Crohn's. I thought we were gonna do asthma. Oh yeah, I forgot. I totally forgot. Okay, okay so for the next article for Wednesday, which is the last article. Blockchain's promise of a trustless system is false. Wired author argues. Mary Willett, Coin Telegraph, 3,500 total views, 138 total shares. An opinion piece published by American online magazine Wire on February 6 has leveled criticisms at the promise of the new blockchain based architectures of trust. Yada, yada, yada. And uh, basically, basically, this is a stupid article. All right, third Thursday.
Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. We're good with that. We're, I, <laughs> 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 We're done with asthma, guys. We're not going to do it anymore. It was tough. We tried. We tried. I don't even know what that was. I couldn't even think. I'm sorry, audience. I'm so, we're so sorry. We just wanted to do asthma <laughs> for a little while. If you don't know what asthma is, just Google it. It's it's a whole new world out there once you know asthma exists. So, I used asthma to get to sleep the other night. It works, dude. It's crazy. It works. I, I was having a hard time sleeping, so I was like, well... Let me see what's going on with the asthma world and put it on. And then, like, next thing I know, I was waking up in the morning to a woman whispering at me. But I liked it, I think. So, at this point, I don't know if it was the asthma that put me to rest, Jesse, or if it was the woman whispering at me. Either way, I got rest, you know. Sure. There's something very soothing about going to sleep while a woman is, like, whispering in your ear to go to sleep yeah it's like what this is so i didn't even know i needed this anyways so you just figure out i like weird things audience sorry for that but asthma is cool so whatever sue me um yeah korea is basically like um if you do crypto in my country we're gonna put the squeeze on you so that's what they're gonna do if you don't know what the squeeze is, uh, you probably live under a rock with that other guy. But it's basically when the law is pressing you, like a full court press. Right? Yeah. They're they're in your business. So. All right. Next, are we on Thursday? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, we've really been zooming today. Are we going fast? We're going really fast. It feels really fast. Yeah. Feels like just yesterday About we. Fifty minutes, right? Yeah, it's just it, it just feels like it feels like it just started. It's like it's th- we're thirty two minutes in. Oh. It's like the fastest just the headers of all time. What did we do different? We're gonna have to review the tapes. All right, so keeping it moving. Uh, this article was written by Adrian Smutsinski. Over 5.5 billion USDC has been transferred on chain. So, over 5.5 billion USD tokens have been transferred on chains as of January 31st, 2019. The Center Consortium was founded by crypto finance firm Circle and United States based crypto exchange Coinbase. USDC's a US dollar backed stablecoin released by Coinbase and Circle in October of last year. According to the report, by the end of January 2019, over 86,000 USDC transactions have been completed on the chain. The document also claims that over 550 million units of the stablecoin have been issued by aforementioned date, out of which nearly 250 million have been redeemed into fiat currency by retail and institutional users. So people are out here using that USDC. I need me some dollars in the barrel, baby. That's what they're doing. Um, I I guess you'd use this if you're a trader, so it makes sense. You know, if you don't, if you want the dollar value, but you don't want to hold the dollar, use use Jesse or is or is yeah. Wait, Jesse, would you use USDC? No, would you? Probably not. No. No, I would not. I don't trade that frequently. I don't. I don't need to. I don't think I'd eat that. I dollar cost average. So. Yeah. Last article in this lightning show. We should join the lightning trust chain. We could be the three hundred and first and second people. So UAE. This is written by Anna Alexander. It's got a thousand seven hundred and thirty-two views. UAE to discuss blockchain and digital assets at 7th World Government Summit. United Arab Emirates, it's a country, and they are going to discuss blockchain and digital assets, right? At a huge conference. Um, yeah, that's it, man. That's it for the articles this week, guys. 
I feel like crypto is turning into everything we ever wanted it to be, but it doesn't feel like the way we wanted it to go in general. That's just my sentiment towards crypto right now. Like this whole tribal, people like this token, like that chain, like this chain, didn't see that coming, didn't think it would get like super crazy like this, where people are like tribal. And then didn't see banks being able to hold it for a really long time. It's just a lot of stuff is happening that we never thought would happen with, with crypto in general. So um, that's it. You got anything, Jesse? Um, no, I, I'm, I'm good. Thanks, everybody, right. for uh, for listening to the podcast again this week. Yeah. Uh, hopefully. Uh, the next podcast will be more entertaining with more interesting headlines. Yeah. Or 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 just you know more side stories about fruit. That'd be great. Don't forget to not give us five stars on anything, or not subscribe to us, or reach out to us in the Slack. You should not join the Slack at the BitcoinPodcast dot com slash Slack. You, I, I, I bet you won't. And that's it, guys. Play.